Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Theon Sims. Uh, welcome to The Limitless Podcast. Joining me as always is your co-host, Dr. Matthew Preston. Hey, look, people, I'm Matthew. Hey guys, what's good? And of course, as you can see, we have a top guest uh, in the room. We have Sir Chris Williams. Say hi, Chris, to everybody. Big up, big up. It is my pleasure to be on. And uh, unfortunately, I am just Chris Williams. Um, I'm not a, you know, I have no big title like doctor. One <laughs> 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 of them there. One of them there. Yeah, man, one you're famous. Yeah, you're very, very famous. So, you know, <laughs> we, we appreciate you uh, taking the time to come on the podcast. So, bless up, bless mm-hmm. up. Okay, Chris. So, um, how's, how's it going on? Can you give us a little background, though, just... For the listeners that may not have heard about you and the company you uh, co-founded and so on, so can you just give us a little, just like an intro, like a background? Yeah. Uh, well, I would say that I'm a, uh, an optimist. That's my, you know, that's that, that's that's who I am at at heart, and um, and that. That optimism drives my my daily um, activities and has driven my life to this to this point. So my optimism stems from uh, you know my family background. My family my family background is you know raised by my grandmother and my mother and you know just just the experience of watching them um, you know traverse the challenges of life and and you know just their brainwashing of me you know uh, and, and making me believe that the glass is always half full and and that there there is tremendous opportunity in the world uh, you know that just infused me, you know, from from a young age, and you know, and and just just made me, you know, approach all my activities with that level of optimism. Uh, that optimism has carried me through uh, New Providence Primary. That's where I went to primary school. Carried me to Jamaica College. You know, the greatest 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 school on the planet uh, and carried me through UE, carried me through Canada, carried me through my first job which um, which is where I met uh, Matthew's father uh, Chris uh, and uh, and carried me through that uh, and um, and then you know, carried me in my career so I, you know and still carries me today with proven and when i say you know when i see what proven has done and all the buildings and all the banks that we own and all that i'm just like wow you know that's some serious that's some serious optimism you know um but yeah that's that's who i am I'm, you know I'm the optimist you know i'm always trying to you know Look forward and do better. Optimism has 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 defined me, and I, you know, and so it hasn't really been an approach of you know of of saying I, I want to be X or I want to be Y. It's just been you know constantly assessing um, you know the, the, the opportunities uh, in life and you know just trying to take advantage of them and uh, and just evolving my my uh, my career and and you know my my business opportunities in that way so that's the introduction for chris 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 is an optimist and you know loves life i love that love that so then how did you move from chris the optimist to starting proven and it, it's the same it's the same you know but they, they <laughs> As I, as I, you know, as I analyzed, I, I, at the time, I was CEO for uh, 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 NCB Capital Markets, mm-hmm. 
and you know we we were doing we were doing extremely well and as i, I assessed the market you know which you know you constantly do you you know you're, you're trying to figure out what's the next move in the market mm -hmm. and uh and the business opportunities and as i assessed it i was like the, you know i think that there's there's a need for a private equity type platform that you know uh, was i guess very popular in the in the in the developed markets in europe and in the, uh, in the usa and was just absent from the caribbean and the caribbean has been has been developed and frankly continues to be developed on a diet of uh of commercial banking and you know entrepreneurs uh you know just had very limited funding options and uh, and all, at the time also very limited equity participation options so mm -hmm. you know in in assessing that and and just having been exposed to the global uh, business environment, I felt that there was a need for, you know, just a group of investors that would pool capital and that would just look for opportunities and, 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 and operate, you know, in a, in an aggressive way to, to, you know, to, you know, to build, build the, the business. And that's, that's how Proven was born. And, you know, I had a conversation with, with Peter Bunting and and uh, he loved it and you know he he has been you know he's been the anchor and the rock for you know for this for this business and um, you know eternally grateful for for you know that phone call <laughs> <laughs> nice that we, you know, that we had that was probably that was probably 15 years ago that we had that phone call so mm, wow. yeah so you know it's, it's the same dna It's the same dna just looking for opportunities just looking for opportunities and and you know and and you know the proven model uh, was the best opportunity at the time and you know and also you know taking taking it on in an entrepreneurial way Meaning, you know, actually putting up cash and taking an equity position as opposed to, you know, just being an employee uh, was also an opportunity. Yeah. So I jumped at both. I said, you know, you know, um, I want, you know, X in terms of equity, you know, and I want to be the CEO. And, uh, and so. That's how it, you know, that's how it evolved. And frankly, that's how proven has evolved over the last X number of years. It's, it's been just constantly assessing the market and looking for businesses to, to buy and, and, and evolve. I mean, you know, within the first three months of, of, of starting proven, we had done our first acquisition, uh, which is guardian asset management. Wow. And and that was just you know that's just our opportunistic uh, mindset, mm -hmm. and uh, and and we just rolled, we just kept rolling from there. You know, Nuts on Express yeah. had gone down to meet with um with with uh, with Oliver um, Thompson, mm -hmm. and and was having a chat with him, and he outlined you know how he wanted to you know to build this 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 idea that he had done and you know we you know we jumped in with him and mm -hmm. and you know took him public and and so on and, yeah nuts for know. nuts for just released some really good results literally yeah, just released yeah, the man. numbers like five minutes ago yeah man, nuts for, nuts for, yo oliver and his partner i mean they're them 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 are the greatest mm -hmm. them are the greatest uh, they're, they're yeah. making they're making bank right now honestly yeah, yeah. Man, they're, yeah. They're, they're dangerous <laughs> and then you know so all the access when we bought into access yeah you know getting into real estate you know that was you know that was just I, as i said constantly looking for opportunities buying mm -hmm. you know buying our two banks you know so it's it's mm -hmm. just it's just constantly looking for opportunities mm -hmm. and, and so i don't think i've changed you know, from, you know, 
from you know from from NCB to proven, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I'm still the same opportunistic um, um, seeker. Yeah. Uh, but it just so happened that it required me to 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 change my job title, you know, from you know from CEO to co-founder and CEO. Nice. Okay. okay. So what what are some of those the things that go into um, making your decision to invest in some of these companies like what are some of the i'm sure there's like probably some key things you always try to yeah. uh, look at yeah. uh you know what we you know we obviously we're very experienced now so over the course of the you know the, the, the various experiences it's come down to the entrepreneur it's 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 the entrepreneur you know, we as uh, a financial investor and, and, and we ourselves as being entrepreneurs in our own right, you know, building proven, uh, we now recognize that you, you sink or swim on the entrepreneur. You know, uh, their, their businesses, uh, business ideas are a dime a dozen. You know they're just they're just out there, uh, but it you know it comes down to the entrepreneur's ability to to execute, and the execution is 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 a multi-dimensional, multi-skill <coughs> um, uh, 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 re re skill set. You know you have to uh, be a great creative and marketer. You have to be, you know, understanding the sales process and, you know, and, and closing the sale. You have to un understand and appreciate the discipline of, you know, financial reporting and making sure your numbers are, are coming out on time and accurately. You know, you have to study risk management because, you know, fraud is just constant I mean, I mean, you, I mean trust trust no is zero yeah. you know so the separate news just to... came out as well yesterday or the day before yesterday. there was another well, big fraud just after the yeah. ssl saga so it's yeah. so you know you just have to you have to you know know that somebody is is definitely as we speak right now somebody's trying to to you know to, to commit fraud at us so you, you know you, your risk management has to be exceptional mm -hmm. you know your operational efficiency because at the end of the day you, you try to run the business at a profit so you know operational efficiency both in terms of the customer experience as well as in terms of the shareholder experience is is a constant balancing act uh, you know the and, and then operational efficiency M mirrors itself uh, with information technology, you know, with, with your IT infrastructure. It's, it's all technology now. So, uh, yeah, it's making a big wave right now. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so, so you have to you have to be constantly studying, you know, the, the in fact, I, I think we should stop calling it information technology and just calling it um, uh, technology because because as you know, technology is now doing, you know, not just providing you with information, it's also doing your analysis, it's also doing your transactions. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's all technology. Uh, so you just go in and then of course, talent management. So, you know, you can't trust, you know, anybody, but at the same time, you gotta keep them motivated and happy, so you don't want to throw all the good with the bad. So you know you still have to, you know, wine and dine them, even though you, you know you don't know who, you know who's gonna who's gonna. I saw a comment from uh, Pandoi where he was like, "Boy, him can't believe them. They, they did this to him because I mean, yeah. he they were thanking him for keeping them employed, mm -hmm. you know, after the fire. Uh, mm -hmm. So you know, it's just." You know, it's 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 heartless. You know, so um, you, you, it's 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 a multi-skill job right now to, to run a successful business, and and so the entrepreneur, you, you know, you have to, you, you know, 
it's no longer about the idea. It's about who is executing the idea. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, so that's what I look for. And, uh, you know, I, I generally don't buy stocks. In fact, I said this to Matthew, you know, before the, before the discussion, I said, boy, if, you, if, you, if you're asking me to come on to, you know, to, to give stock advice and so on, then I'm the wrong person because I don't buy stock. I, 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 I'm a, I'm a, a partner, mm-hmm. you know, I'm a, I'm a business owner. So, you know, I, I, the businesses, some businesses are privately held, some businesses are publicly held, but I treat, I treat both in the same way. So if I'm buying, you know, Nuts for the Express stock, it's really because I believe in the entrepreneur, I believe in the, the idea, mm-hmm. I believe in the business model, I believe in the equipment, I believe in the you know, the country that it operates in. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, I'm a business owner. And, I, and, I, and, I, and so, and I really think, guys, that, you know, don't fall in love with everything that you, you know, you, you've grown up to see. Uh, for example, the, the uh, prevalence of uh, stock trading uh you know which you know emanates primarily from the the u.s market you know europe to some extent but certainly from the u.s market and the the evolution of that because of technology uh is not necessarily a good thing it's not necessarily a good thing uh the the, it it pulls us away from you know the core and the core is you know, people coming together to fund a business. And that's, you know, that's what, that's why they divided, you know, uh, the ownership of the company into shares because, you know, one man couldn't fund it. So they said, all right, let's, let's split it up and everybody get a piece and let's call that piece a share. That's what it was. It was just sharing up the pie mm-hmm. and that's how the you know that's how the name evolved and then the stock market came about because you wanted you know you, you didn't want to as you wanted you wanted to know where your buyers were yeah so you know somebody was saying well you know i'd like to buy you know uh into proven but i don't know the, the owners of proven how you know how can i find the owners of proven and so some, you know, some, some, some person said, you know what, let's set up a market um, similar to Carnation Market where people would come to buy the goods. So, you know, every Saturday, you just meet us here at this market and you can buy whatever uh, company shares that you want. Mm-hmm. And, and so that's how the evolution. And then suddenly... The focus became, you know, trying to play or to, you know, to, to time or to, you know, to, to benefit from that market opportunity. And I'm saying, no, don't, don't beg you, I, you know, you young people, I'm begging you, stay focused on, you know, the fundamentals. And the fundamentals are buy good businesses back entrepreneurs, back good business models. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, that's something so, we, Preston you know, and so I focus on I'm, a lot. I'm, right? I'm, I'm a shareholder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a shareholder. I don't buy, I don't buy stock. And I, I certainly don't trade stocks. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I buy businesses. I buy businesses, both publicly and private. But from a fund standpoint, I guess it, it's a bit different because you're, you have a lot of you have access to a lot of capital and you also have to think about the return for your shareholders so i understand that it's it's a balancing act for you so i i i understand the way you approach buying into certain companies and so on um and 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 i think certainly at your age mm-hmm. that's the way you should approach it as well at your age you you know you should be saying all right what is a business that will be around 
30 years from now when I, you know, want to buy my, my, my beach villa in Cayman, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and that's what you need to, you know, you want to buy into a business, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that you, you know, that, that you are, that you're comfortable, you're comfortable in, you're confident in, uh, and, and so on. So yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think, yes, uh, yes, I, you know, I'm at a different, um, opportunity level. But I don't think the fundamentals change depending on the size of your your bank account. Okay, I think okay. the fundamentals are still the same. You know, look for good, you know, assets to buy. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a good house, whether it's a good car, whether it's a good stock, look for good assets to buy. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I want to just change the topic just a little bit. Uh, so, a lot of people don't know that you play football right um <laughs> that's where i actually first saw you at i was doing some volunteer work in porous uh it was this homecoming no it was even after the. i think it was after the homecoming uh there was a celebrities football match i guess i don't know what it's <laughs> called and you played against uh tapa whitmore and your side i think you had um this guy that owns morris i can't remember his name yeah yeah he yeah. was courtney courtney Murray. courtney Murray. And quite a few others on your team. You guys beat up a bit more. Was mm -hmm. one love? We schooled him. No, man, we schooled him. We gave him, we gave him three. It was three. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gave him three. Remember, remember yeah. I set up two. Remember I yes, set up yes, two. Yes, yes, two. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Black, Black boy, Black boy was on my team as well. Ah, uh, yeah. And, um, You're a midfielder? Yeah. Black, Black played. I. He and I was a, were, 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 the, were the strikers. Oh. He and I were the strikers. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a big ball, yeah, yeah. a big ball. <laughs> yeah, 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 a big ball. <laughs> so now, no, I know I know you have a big love for football and so on. I even saw a tweet recently about um, your your thoughts on like how Jamaican football should transition and, and your recommendations for it. Tell us, like, what do you what do you think about that aspect of, of um, you know, okay, so so <clears throat> I love this song. 